everybody, my name is Denise Donatelli and I am so happy to be here to show you guys this quick and simple recipe for burger patties. You know, we're coming up on summer and this is just so simple and so handy. Um, you can definitely make them as the freezer meal and have them sitting in your freezer ready to go. But you know what, they're so quick and simple, you could do them when you get home from work one day too. So I will jump right in here. I have of course washed my hands. We have two pounds of ground beef. Um, sometimes I like to mix it up. We'll do, in our family, we really enjoy doing a pound of ground beef and a pound of ground pork and mix that together. It makes it nice and juicy and flavorful. Uh, the next thing I'm going to add is five tablespoons of our ranch dip seasoning. And of course I'm using Epicure's four in one spice spoon and I'm just gonna take five tablespoons of this yummy ranch dip seasoning there we go and then the other the only other thing I'm going to add is a cup of shredded cheese so you can use cheddar. I'm using a cheddar jack mix because this is a shredded cheese that I always have on hand in the fridge. And then you're just gonna mix that up. So I'm gonna dig right in there with my hands because that's just the easiest way to do it. Now, these are so quick and easy. I'm doing this in my trailer today, actually. And part of that is, part of the reason for that is because I have a, uh, 12 year old and a 10 year old and every time I start making a video for my VIP group or to share with you guys on here um, they think that they need to try and distract me so they will show up in the doorway of the kitchen and they will be knocking on my bedroom door if I'm doing a product spotlight video they say that they're going to be um, nice and quiet for me. That never happens. So we're just going to give this a few more. It's almost like kneading the bread. If you're making bread, I'm just going to mix this in a few more times. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I am making my hamburger patties, I'm a little bit OCD about it. So I do have my scale here and I am going to be measuring them today just because I am that way. A few little pieces of cheese escaped. So we are going to go ahead and make our burger patties now. And I am a little OCD. I think I mentioned that when it comes to um, forming my burger patties, I like to weigh them out so that they're all the right size so that they all cook evenly when I go to cook them. So I'm gonna weigh out about four ounces of hamburger. And I'm gonna do that here on my scale. So there's our four ounces. Now, yes, I did have that from another take. Um, so I'm gonna use Epicure's fabulous three-in-one burger patty press. So this thing has the option to do full-size burger patties. It has the option to do sliders, and it also has the option to do stuffed burger patties. So we'll do that another day. So then we're just gonna pop it out of the ring, peel back, the bottom and there is your delicious ranch cheddar burger patty. So then I'm going to take some parchment paper and I'm going to put that one down and I'm going to do another one and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make all of these burger patties and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys how I freeze them because you want to make sure that you have something in between. Usually I use parchment paper in between your burger patties so that they don't stick together when you put them in the freezer. Okay, so I will finish making these patties and then I will be back. Okay, so as you can see, I have my burger patties stacked nicely with the parchment paper. I use the pre-cut sheets of parchment paper and then I just have to fold them in half. And then I'm just gonna slide them into the Ziploc bag. I'm gonna label them as cheddar ranch burgers and I'm gonna throw them in my freezer. And actually I'm probably gonna throw them in the freezer of the trailer here so that I have them for the next time we go camping. Okay, so, so we're gonna make some ranch dip to go on top of these burgers. 
Now we're gonna make just a little bit. So we've got two tablespoons approximately of mayo and we're gonna do two tablespoons of either Greek yogurt or sour cream. I always have Greek yogurt in the house, so that's what I'm gonna use. And of course, I am mixing this in one of our Epicure prep bowls because it's got the measurements on the side of the bowl. And that way I can be sure that my two tablespoons and two tablespoons is going to equal the quarter cup. Now, the last thing I'm gonna to add to this is one tablespoon of our ranch seasoning. And of course, I'm still using the Epicure four in one spice spoon. It's my favorite. As Soon as we bought the trailer, I had to make sure that I had at least one of them in the trailer. So then we're just gonna give that a stir. And that can sit for 15 minutes while you get the burgers ready toast your buns. We like to use the um, Portofino brioche hamburger buns in our house. And then you've got a really nice ranch sauce to put on your ranch cheddar burgers. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I hope that you have fun with your freezer meals. The other recipes we have for you guys are also equally as amazing. And we will talk to you soon. Have a good one.